Hey, yo, it's your man Shut Up Cole here, back from Alexandria Town Studios, here for uh, episode 51, and, and we're back, back with a lowercase b, though, unfortunately. <laughs> with a lowercase b. <laughs> lowercase b. All a little back, not big back. We're a little back. All little it's letters, a, all little letters. <laughs> it's episode 51, the Bernie Williams episode, and um, the Randy Johnson episode, all baseball here. And um, none of them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know if you saw Randy Johnson, you know Randy Johnson. Oh yeah, oh big tall bird looking man, <laughs> white, white guy, little yeah. bird. But anyway, it's episode fifty one, and um, yeah, back with the uh, lowercase b. Um, podcast studios. I might have jinxed this just a little bit at the end he of did, last man. Episode. You jinxed Maybe. it, man. You just jinxed this. You did. This man said never. You you never say never. But everybody's never. healthy. Never. Everybody is. Everybody's doing well. At the very least, everybody's asymptomatic. So, like, yeah, I think we're fine. fine. We're fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're gravy, baby. That's yeah, all that matters. So, we like to keep y'all guessing. You don't. You, you're not gonna know when we meet. You don't yeah. know where we. We might. We might end up in uh, freaking Dubai next episode. Y'all don't yeah, even you know. Don't know. Oh well, how are we getting flued out there? I say, well, I'm not letting a salt and crap. You can get flued oh, out been, there, but you just can't get back. I've been telling you. Damn, Darian's right too. Have fun at customs. Wait, you might not be not even there. We can't get in. I don't think we're we're the best people in the world right now. We we really have. We have to do some nasty shit to get immune. (laughs) Nasty and normal. In order just to get in the country, in the airport, we're going to do nasty stuff. That's how wild it is now. I'm about to say in the airport, we're going to have to let customs just have their way with us. It's and we ain't got in front of the show Devon there because you know Devon they the nasty nigga. So I mean that. Man, so, it's like, show, he put his name up there. It's like no, but yeah. So you know, we're back. Um, here for episode fifty-one. Your man shot up cold, and I still have my illustrious host here. Hey, your man's arm really DW chilling in the uh, beautiful Landover Studios. Oh yeah, I, I have a studio too. Hey man, we got we got tons. Of, everybody got their own studio. We we big all over the world. Hey. It's your boy, they be geeking league from Ascend Apollo Studios. Oh, Ooh. old old, 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 old Joey. Well, I, I hope we called it. Make sure you make sure security got, got, got a couple extra clips tonight. <laughs> like, <laughs> no <bullshit>. Oh damn. <laughs> it's your boy Darian, aka Clark Kent. I'm holding it down in Ville Studios, man. Mr. Bros in person, but it's all good. We back still. How y'all feeling? I'm 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 doing good. I think uh, I'm doing good. It's day five hundred thirty seven hundred of uh, quarantine. But you know what? Fuck quarantine. I'm, I'm tired of this shit. Tired. Thirty seven rations are low. Morale even lower. Stop. <laughs> I'm eating three rats. <laughs> the boys may not be coming home. Haven't told them yet. Stop. Ran out of toilet paper <laughs> weeks ago. Stop. Stop. Mother, stop sending letters. <laughs> oh, I hope she's well. Please send help. Now, <laughs> stop. I, I keep I writing letters like the like uh the Western Union. Today was a long fight on the war. <laughs> the enemy approached from the west. <laughs> we attempted to flank them on the east, but we were overrun and over okay. war and low on rations. No <laughs> low on rations and morale. <laughs> the morale, but the morale got to be half, especially back then. Because if you if you even got grazed back then, you were going to die. No, there, was, there was no type of infection of. Yeah. Health. And morale Please. was at an all time low, folks. This is at an all time low. I've attempted Please. to write attempted to write to Judy three times. She has yet to reply. <laughs> right to Judy. Hope this I my, hope neighbor, moved on. my neighbor Sir Flanders may be piping it. <laughs> Damn you, Sir Flanders. Damn you, Sir Flanders. He's a lovely 13 year old with a future ahead of him. <laughs> no, back in the day, if you were 13, you was a man. Somebody say you're a big man. man. Riding, he was an excellent rider and a great shot. Cause let us not forget, we be writing these letters to sixteen-year-old boys, about this. dying on the front lines. No, uh, yeah, I read something about fucking. World, it's fucked up, but like World War One, World War Two. I mean, the bullets weren't the thing to worry about. You just like scrape. Like, you scrape your knee in one of them trenches, dog. You get tetanus oh, that joint. That's I'm it. I say that's a real joint. They used to do surgery on them. They wouldn't even sterilize the shit. They would use. Sur- they would do surgery on. They would just literally just go in your shit. They didn't know though. They ate it or not, like they didn't know. Oh shit, there's bacteria out here. Hmm. Right, doctor, that really hurt. Hey, just stay still. Damn, just stay, just stay yeah, still. just take some here's some moonshine. I'm about to say, <laughs> just take a walk. Take this walk. Boy, shut up. Take a Drink walk. Be a man. Fine. Be a man. Drink it. Well, by that point, they was drinking toilet wine. 
Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Well, even the good stuff when you get down to the digs of uh, the dregs of war, basically. That's but anyway, they, they made the colored troops be on the front line. That's what my grandpa used to always say. Well, like whenever things oh, were grand, your granddad was on the front line of World War II. Uh, he, had to, he had to say whenever things were going wrong. He was like, "Damn, it doesn't look good for the colored troops now." <laughs> <laughs> He was, that, he was that soldier. I don't think we should go on this one, man. Oh, God. Bro, God damn, America sucks. <laughs> Basically, that's what it boils down to. God damn. I'm moving to Sweden. I've been looking at fucking uh, homes in Sweden. Like, listen. Yeah, let's be honest. They're not going to treat you no better. I'm about to say, you still, black, you're still black over there. They'll be scared of me. Hell, nigga. I'm very less likely to be murdered there for being black. They'll just be the whole country is full of. I was going to use multiple words to describe that were offensive. Yeah, they do, just they leave do. It. Shout out they to our do. Sweden audience, Swedish audience. Shout out to Nick Backstrom, all the Cavs players from Sweden. Are but he no, Swedish? Yeah, he's Swedish. Ain't the niggas like pacifists? Do they fight wars? Uh, no, even, I think you think it's Switzerland. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Switzerland. You're right. Impressive though. But like, no, they still have a festival, I think, where they dress up in blackface. But that's okay. I'll just stay home that day. Oh, so you might be worshipped. It's off chance. Yeah, maybe you just blend in. That was smart. That'd be and you'll be one of ten niggas in it's Sweden. It's him. It's him. It's the black. It is who we are. The timid. It is who we are. We are worshiping. He's black. Yeah. Him. Black. Oh, look at him. Oh, take a picture. <laughs> I should be right. He's gonna spend all his time be. in IKEA. No Ain't that Swedish? Bro, no. Yeah. Yes. But no, I, I, I saw no, some Twitter no, right, thread where somebody went to Japan and they were like. The people they weren't even me. They just wanted to take pictures with them because they were black. Yeah, they never seen black. Oh, you all know black people. Shut up, shut up, shut up. It's amazing. It's fucked up, but you were accent, weren't you? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Every nigga that pull up there is awesome. That was growth. That was growth. Good job. Good job. <laughs> that that was, was, I would have did it. <laughs> but we're better than that. We don't do that. We don't. What you mean? Guys, not what, 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 what happened? What we about to do? Nothing. We're going to next. We're going to next job. <laughs> Damn toast. All I know is my favorite movie is *The Rest of Cats*. And that scene when they were like with the little the Siamese cats. All right, like, we're going. We're, all, right, so, all right, we're going. We're going. All right, all right. So I mean, let's just have a moment of silence here. Let's have a moment of silence here, so I can know where to cut. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and let's get to these toasts. <laughs> Yo, the Walt Disney Company racist, but anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> what is it? The whole company racist, anyway. I watched a, I watched a documentary on some, and they were showing Dumbo, <laughs> them little crows and Dumbo. And that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. Yeah. Them crows you know racist as you fuck. Know what, you know what the most ra- fucked up part was? It, it was a white dude doing the voices. It wasn't even black. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. black people yeah. couldn't be in none of that shit. Y'all should have seen how they was doing Mickey Mouse and Goofy. Yeah, they're no, looking ridiculous. Uh, they wow. black, and they're like a black Mickey Mouse out there or some shit. Yeah, with purple lips and watermelon, I'm sure. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, it was definitely like a black. Well, Diddy did like a black. I'm telling guy. you, that shit is real, bro. They did okay. a lot of that type of shit. Have you heard a song yeah, in the South? in the beginning, bro. Like, you heard a song in the South? You ain't watching Melton Talking Melton. about Dixie? Or something? Yeah, no, Song of the South was the one. It was like the movie where like they went back in time. They talked to Uncle Remus and he was like a slave. He sang them songs and told them stories, like slave stories. But it, it they'll never put on Disney Plus because that shit is racist as shit. Oh but my like, God. Yeah. yeah. Arian said there's a black Mickey Mouse with purple lips and water belly. Nigga named him Melton Mouse. Well, I didn't, but that's funny. <laughs> Melton Mouse, nigga. That's what you basically just described. I mean, it Lenny, you expect. Them niggas that come out with the Jungle Book, that ju- Jungle Book was fucking racist as shit, too. No. No, it was uh, hey, buddy, it was an Indian boy, right? No, yeah, he was. Yeah. All right, let's get the damn toast. Right, we ain't talking about Indian boy. Because he was always talking about monkey and around, Louie and all them motherfuckers. They, 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 they live with monkeys. They live with monkeys. They're monkeys in the jungle, bro. I want to hear the rest of your argument off camera, but they were monkeys, just so we can clarify that. All right. So speaking of monkeys, monkey. <laughs> oh, I love the energy today. I really do. This is, this is, this is, this is great. So, I love Malik's theories. I ain't gonna lie. We can have a great conversation about this later. We are on, and we can make a fucking Patreon. We can sell extra shit. One of the one of the fucking things we sell is just Malik giving all his theories and shit. <laughs> it's gonna be him with a mic for thirty minutes and just sitting there just saying. Not even thirty. Give him thirty. He may incriminate himself. We give fifteen. And my special guest is gonna be Dr. Umar. Oh lord. Ooh, okay. Oh. Speaking of which, that brings me to my first toast. Um, wow. Whoa. Okay. I, 
No, and I'm gonna clarify this. Okay, all right. Let me make sure I clear. Let me make sure I clarify this. Yo, my toast. Shout to the shout to the uh, shout to the Jewish people. My toast is to them because up until recently, I'm gonna be honest. I always thought the stupidest thing in the world was that they got upset for their stereotype being that they had a lot of money. But then I came to the realization that a lot of people associate this wealth with them causing all of the problems in the world. And that's highly unfair to them. And after what happened in Philadelphia this week where they caught the unnecessary strays of a freaking fair, stop quoting Farrakhan, stop it. But anyway, they caught the unnecessary strays of that. That really made me like think of that a little bit more, a little bit deeper. Yo, shout, shout, shout to them. They, 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 they deserve to be treated fairly. Like literally like that, that, Black people, we don't, I guess, I guess people in general don't understand, like, how bad Jewish people have. These stereotypes from Jewish people, like, they literally date back to, like, the time of Jesus and, like, BBC, and, and uh, BC, like, before Christ. Like, mm. and, and, like, like they're, they're money grubbers, all, all that stuff. Like, literally, whenever you say anything about, oh, they control the world or money and all that, dude, that's just anti-Semitic shit that they've been using to excuse persecuting the, persecuting them literally since jesus was a baby like i wish people would like you can be all for black empowerment all that and not be anti-semitic you can do both things i promise i promise this is possible. No, you can even if you want to you can think that the black men are the real children of israel or whatever you want to think without sitting there and putting them down as like the reason for the rest of the things that have happened in the world because it's just like there's like a point where it's like yo farrakhan the million man march is cool but it's like, yo, everything else that he says about other people, there are a lot of problems there. And people have to think about that when they're like deciding to put his quotes out there. It's like, yo, it's a very loaded thing to say. I know that people like some of the things he says because it does lift up the black man. I get, I get that. Mm. But there is a lot of his messaging that people and, have to look into. Right. And that's the thing. Like literally like all his anti-Semitic stuff, which is the irony is all the anti-Semitic stuff he believes comes from white supremacy. Dude, literally every European dynasty or empire in history has a period where they just kick Jews out and just were anti-Semitic. Like literally like this is like... Yeah, don't be on. That's not the side to be on, guys. Yeah, no, nah, so yeah, shout, shout out to them because it's like that, that, is, everything that happened was unnecessary this week. Yeah, Deshaun Jackson is my favorite NFL player. I just love I, ever really? since yeah, he by the Eagles. Yes, I love him. I love him. I love big. I love big play wide receivers that can just score every time he's like that. Hate him in like, fantasy. Like, I yes. really right. like, dude, dude. Dude, that's not cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say like I didn't want I didn't want him this to lose. Never to quote Hitler, bro. What Damn, I, I didn't want him to lose. I forgot what I was watching. I listened to the Bomani Jones podcast and like the oh, first yes, thing the Jones, said, that was what he yeah. bro, that's, that's what I was thinking. He said yeah. like, bro, if anything you read, the first thing you, you start off with what Hitler said. That's don't nigga. Like that's you can make a thousand like. If you didn't say that, your your message probably could have went through. But you started hey, but with that you, bullshit. You a random Hitler book that didn't. It's just a random book that you shouldn't. Why quote. did he read? Why did he even? Then, why he, I he, like, there were so many bad things in that. Yeah. And even the even dumber part was that Stephen Jackson got dragged into this, and it was like, "Yo, you're killing all the goodwill that you created for." Like, <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. I, I forgot I really that point too. That. You're right because now, like, you guys, we gotta stop giving excuses to like. Tucker Carlson and Jesse Water and all these Fox oh dudes. My God, because yeah. they'll sit there and grab this shit and like, see, see, all the black lives. It was like, yo, and he was like, one of those ones, yeah, the, the NBA players shouldn't play right now. That's a distraction. It's like, bro, it's really not what you did. That was the absolute biggest distraction. I hated that. And that was why it was like, for me, it's not even like I'm trying to be on some, no, NBA players didn't play. It's like, yo, don't talk about distractions if you're going to go out and cause one. And it's like, you didn't have to jump into this fight. It was right, so right, unnecessary right. for you. It's like, yo, text Deshaun personally. If, if you feel like he's been led astray, you don't have to sit out there and put yourself out, out there because of this. But it's just like, yeah, the the whole anti-Semitism thing, it has to be realized. And then he quoted something about George Soros owning all the banks in the world. And it's just like, bro, oh, God. You, you know, just watch YouTube. Like, fam, you don't have to do this. Just yo, know, treat everybody with respect and decency. If you're going to say that type of stuff, if you're going to say that you love everybody, love everybody and don't perpetuate old useless stereotypes like leave, leave the jewish people alone it's okay to move on from them like, like god all right anybody want to give uh the next toast hmm. I, can, I can go you know what are you gonna go oh uh, which one of y'all want to go cool. you know what fuck it i'll go um i'm gonna <laughs> shout out um i'm gonna shout out will smith man i'm gonna shout out will smith i know i know <laughs> I'm sure we've all seen what what has happened recently in recent weeks. What'd you say? Pursuit of cuckiness. 
pursuit God. of happiness. That does not make it a cut. Let's show, let's show some respect. But no, nah, I want to shout them out. We all seen what has happened between uh, Jada and August. August came out saying they had a more serious relationship than we knew about or whatever. And then Jada had the red talk, red table talk with Will recently. And the reason I want to shout out Will is just for a long time I've always like kind of like it because you you've seen them as a couple as a um like their marriage they've gone through ups and downs and they've gone through shit. And like one thing that always resonates with me is not the picture perfect marriages that have things all figured out and everything works out. It's the marriages that have those rough patches and they work through them. Cause right now they seem so in sync with super, even that bad marriage for life shit that they were saying. Like it's just so like they're just so in sync with how they we say real quote. Yeah. Oh yeah, they said that. I'm they said, yeah, they said that. They said that. They said oh, that. My God. They, they said that. They said that. But like just just so and, and it was I'm pretty sure it was a joke from what they were saying. Like it wasn't like they, they wish a bad marriage. But they, they I think they were saying that to say like marriages go through shit and then just them having an open conversation like that, just putting everything out there. Cause I know me as a like I couldn't just sit there. Even if we hashed this shit out like years ago, I couldn't just sit there and let you and relive that. Like especially on camera. Like, if we were on camera, I couldn't really relive that. So, I really want to shout out to Will. And, honestly, Jada, too. Because Jada, I mean, just them as a couple, honestly. Just talking through that stuff. Being an example that marriage isn't always sunshine and rainbows. You're going to go through a rough patch. There's going to be times where you feel like you're going to want to separate. And I'm not married yet. But I'm just saying, like, like you have to go through some things to in order. It, 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 like, it's inevitable. You're going to go through some shit. So, just really shout out to them. This is a true testament to that. Like you can make it past the past the rough patches. And yeah, shout out to them. Right. Um, oh, no, I was gonna say shout out to them for just like being open and honest about like right. they have no That's what I was not even an alternative thing, but just like yo, this their marriage and like the whole thing of as a man, if you can sit there and be honest about another dude having sex with your wife and, and you know, you you be you can stay on camera and you don't have a problem, that's that's it's a hell of a thing to be open and honest about. And, and listen, I mean like the the bad the bad marriage thing for life, I mean like if they know they have a bad marriage, I mean, like, shit, man. Like, it's, I don't know. The way I looked, it, it was weird. It was uncomfortable to it watch. It was uncomfortable. It was very uncomfortable. It wasn't our business. That's, that's why it was uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not our business. And, you know, I, I don't know what you got. I look at Will Smith as Will Smith is kind of like, oh, it's Will Smith, right? You didn't have any problems in life. He's like, he's just like a mm-hmm. super. He's like on Kobe's level. He's like a Superman. I don't see him as being vulnerable or anything like, like that unless he's like playing a role. But people go through shit. And he was real. And, like, shit is kind of, My main thing with the whole thing is, like, you know, like, we, as, as consumers and all that, we got to stop acting like we know people's lives, man. Yes, like, yeah. what's yeah. acceptable for, for, for them might not be acceptable for you, but, like, if, it looks like they're happy or they're content with the situation. Right. Well, you can argue with the journey all you want, but, I mean, like, end of the day, like, I mean, nobody did. I mean, August I'll see him, I have his feelings hurt. But. <laughs> nobody did, right? <laughs> It's just entanglement. Just entanglement. Just entanglement. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. He did that. Will was like, nah, it was a relationship. So I bullshitting. Like, I think people, like, if you really just sat there and realized how relationships work, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure people got parents who gone through some shit, might have been separated for a time. Like, I mean, like, Guaranteed, and they got back man. together. Or they don't get back together. That's that's love. That's how the real right. world works. Relationships work, so. Right, you know, shit, man. Like I don't. Shit happens, I'm glad they got, you know they. You know, clearly they seem to be in a better space. Like I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know if they're together. They might not be together per se. They might not sleep in the same bed. But as long as they're good, and they have understanding. Like, right. If it was like some real messed up stuff. I doubt they would have put that video out. So like, yeah, yeah. no, yeah, I mean, it's definitely cool. So yeah, shout out to them, man. Yeah. All right, Malik, do you got I got my toast, but I mean, you can. Um, mine is gonna be real simple, man. You know, my my toast is gonna go to uh, Fifty Cent. You know, what I mean, it's a big shout out to him. You know, what right. saying? executive producing the uh, Pop Smoke album. Okay, on it. You know, what I'm saying out of the kindness of his heart. Yeah, no um, proceeds or nothing. You take all that. I'm glad you said that because I was not a hundred percent sure if Fifty Cent had a heart. He seems like an awful human. I being. still don't think he does. That was just one nice thing. This was really nice what he did out there. But that just shows the, I think that just showed the connection and the like impact that Pop Smoke had for his, his short term, I mean, short time being, um, you know, in the limelight. Like, you know, a lot yeah. of people. Shit, like I even like, you know, I saw some uh, like clips of him, you know, acting in a movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, I saw that too. Like, Damn, you know what I'm saying? Like doing the screen test. I was like, man, he was gonna be, you know, all right. 
So uh, uh, big, big shout out to that. You know, um, can I? I want to do a toast, um, a reverse toast to um, Virgil Abdo, whatever his name is. Whack ass fucking I album. I never liked his shit. I, I'm, I'm gonna get through my album fucking uh, cover he did, dog. I never liked his work. Somebody explain his existence to me. I don't understand he it. It's zip supposed to be like, edgy fashion. Yeah. Simplistically know. edgy, I think. I he don't was know. Friends with Kanye. There That's you go. It was. That's what it was. Yeah, but now nah, what's his name? Is friends with Kanye? He made better stuff than that. That Don C. Don Don C. That's the cool stuff. I've never seen anything that this Virgil guy has made, whether it's shoes. Made all, I, you never seen all white Nikes are okay. I've never seen okay. I'm saying I've never seen anything from him that I was like, damn, oh, that's real creative or real like nice. Like, not that, like, nothing. He no. breaks things down to the most simplistic and then puts uh, parentheses around them, and people think yeah. it's cool. Maybe that's why it works. Maybe well, Kanye got know. that deal with the Gap because he basic. Shout hmm. to the Gap though. I don't dislike and all that. you and all you who said, well, I remember that day they announced that gap deal with Kanye, and all y'all were not y'all, but like I saw people oh, on Twitter that were happy and that. jumping up and that, oh, Kanye, oh, like y'all just forgot all the shit that's gone on to the last two, three years, and then what do you do like a week after? <laughs> oh, <he's laughs> <in his day. laughs> and you know what his party's called? <laughs> Birthday <laughs> party. Drop it. I literally died. He said, he said? Yes. Oh, you ever seen the article? Oh, wait, it's dead oh, ass called the birthday party? Yes, yes nigga. Yes. We got to stop taking it seriously. I thought they were going to be called like the Yeasters or some shit. The no, Yeast part. No. Nah. The Yeast is the worst. The Yeasters. Man, they, we got we to stop taking them seriously. Nah, for real, man. No, I agree. I agree, no, but but still, like people do it. People are stupid. Like you shouldn't be paying any attention to him, even when he's just making gap deals. No. Honestly, you should be fuck Kanye right now. It needs to be until he gives us a reason not to. Yeah. I just put in the group chat. But yeah, like, yeah, no, it's hold uh, on. This nigga's jump is based upon Wakanda. Yes. <laughs> I'm says. telling you, bro, the whole joint was ridiculous. I'm bro. Black Panther was a bad idea. Because just the way, like, God, we just run Black Panther. I don't know. Let me run that through the fucking Wow, I see one more person cross their arms over the goddamn no, chest. Still doing that? Damn, yes, bro. I feel like it doesn't stop. I feel like we got our we got our one movie by oh, Africa, and it wasn't about a real country. That announced that he's bipolar, and I want him as my president. And well, that's the same thing they were cold. saying he was having a bipolar episode, like after he, he got nuclear codes. Cold. The Kardashians are trying to say, right? They're they're trying trying to, like, yeah. Bring it back. Oh, no one them. Because let us not forget, him. he also posted a picture of a six month fetus. On his pay, on his he, he tweeted that, and then he said something about they deserve to live. He did some anti abortion crap. This nigga said that he's never voted in a election before. Are you surprised? Yeah. Are you surprised? I know, but like, what? And I what? This Damn, he's crazy. So not crazy, excuse circle? me. I'm sorry. That's not right. That's not right. Who does that's, he that's have in this circle? Nobody. No, I mean, who the fuck was that? You paying me a check? Hey, look here, nigga. One of y'all become famous. I'm not about to check y'all if y'all paying me a million dollars. Bro, he, he, say, but his last deal it got him to a billion. I mean, like he good. Yeah. Like, exactly. yeah, financially speaking, he is. He's whatever you got. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a yes man. Dante, just I'm make sure the, the first of the month I got my check. Thank gotcha. you. Bro, yeah, you got a whole bunch of yes men. Shout out to J Cole. Shit, man. But you know, like, but yeah. So I'll get. I'll get my toast. I'm... Birthday party. Yeah, birthday party. <laughs> party. All right, my so, toast I'm... is gonna go to. The Washington Football Club, mm. formerly known as the Washington Blank Skins or the Washington Redskins. So I you mean the Warriors, the Red Wolves? The, you never the know. The Red Wolves, the most. I don't want to be the Red. The, I don't want them to the be the Glizzies. The Glizzies, Glizzies. Honestly, the, the Washington Glizzies. That'd be dope. I see. I said that. I said that. So, so after what? I think the first year of uh, the Redskins name was 1932. So that's about. Shit, a lot. that's a long ass time. Years that way. Long, long ass time. The Washington Football Club is going to change their name from Redskins, which I mean, again, I, you can try to dress it up as much as you want. And a little old fashioned racial slur. It's a racial slur, like it's yeah. a racial term, and they're changing the name finally. Um, uh, last time I checked, uh, the, I've read that uh, might be in the next, you know, even 24 40, 40 hours. Yeah. We'll see. But um, I think this is a you know a great step uh, for a variety of reasons. I mean, most importantly, it's a racial slur. Um, Native American people. Um, uh, again, th this has been the name for um, like I said, over eighty years. Um, mm -hmm. 
some diehard uh, fans will tell you, oh, well, you know, we don't mean it in that in a bad way, but my my rebuttal is is this. The Washington Redskins were founded in 1932 by an avowed racist, George Preston Marshall. Um, there is minimal Native American representation in the front office, the players, coaching staff, and the 80 plus years of its existence. Native really? American or got, any donations or something like that to them? Uh, they've barely got, they've gotten a few donations. They, uh, Dan Snyder was forced, not forced, but he created a foundation, I think, a couple years ago. Uh, in the last two or so years, they've donated zero dollars. So Native Americans have gotten absolutely zero from the name Washington Redskins. It was created by a racist. The Washington Redskins were the last team to integrate. And so basically my football team is a very problematic history, and this is a step to take. Shout out to Doug Williams, first black quarterback to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah shout out to Man. Doug Williams. But anyway, this is, a way to, this is a way to make up for that and also to reinvigorate a dying brand. The Washington Redskins are barely the favorite team in the DMV. Uh, Dallas Cowboys are just as popular. The Baltimore Ravens right behind them. So maybe this is an opportunity to make change. I'm excited for that. And um, salute to all the Native Americans. And I'm sorry for all the times I oppressed you by um, defending that name. Uh, they took me going to college and um, having a Native American woman uh, Drag my life in the most polite way possible at a party. One time. Yeah, I remember he told me that story. He it. Oh, that was a good one. Shout out uh, to growth. Shout to growth. And to growth. Let, let us also forget, I mean, let us also remember that bullying is not always a bad thing. Sometimes uh, you could bully somebody into doing a really, really good thing. Because <laughs> Dan Snyder's being bullied right now. I'm about to say, I, like all the sponsors, it's, uh, they are ganging up on him right now. So. Hey, it's like perfect problem. storm. It's like it's like the momentum around going around anything like civil rights related or social justice issues. It's so much strong right now. Yeah, like, throughout this hell of a year, Native Americans should not be your motif or your mascot. You shouldn't right. be using skin as your mascot. Right. And look, the Cleveland Indians, you already know your yeah, job next. next. Your time is next. You on deck, just like in baseball. You on oh. deck. About to say, Black yeah. Hawks, are the Black Hawks really safe? Comfortable with Charlie? Are the Black Hawks safe? Mm -hmm. uh, they said they're keeping their name. Uh, what, I think that's probably the least problem. Yeah, because yeah. like, because um, yeah, like, like, I know, like Florida State, like the Seminoles, they have a relationship with one of the tribes. So, like, if you but they got to stop doing that. Who does the tomahawk chalk? Oh, the tomahawk chalk. That shit is. Just that's that's a lot of Braves, though. It started. It started with Florida State. And the Chiefs do it too, though. The Chiefs do it too. I think. Yeah, they, they started. They started doing. They started doing. One of them started doing when Dion came there. Yeah. yeah. Bray started doing it when Dion Sanders got there. Yeah. And that's some Florida State crap. They yeah. need to stop doing it. Let's stop doing that. Let's stop trying to wear people's skin as our mascots for sports. That's very. And weird. if you come to that stadium dressed about, up, do what you your gear. about them getting on like the horses and wearing like the. Oh, like the Florida State so dude who comes like, and, like, and, and, and he drops it down. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, listen, apparently Florida State has some type of agreement with whatever tribe. Similar nation? I mean, with, with that tribe. But the thing is, that's one, I think one tribe, like, gives them the cosign. But there's a, a shit ton of tribes around the world. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I personally think no team should do that, to be honest with you. And don't try to what about me and be like, oh, the Vikings were – Awful people and the Raiders and Buccaneers, Pirates did a lot of bad things. That's cool, but that's a, that's a different. That's I a different. go deep on the Vikings, bro. They were exploited like shit by the Saxons. Fuck out of here. Yeah, they were. Oh. Shout out to Last oh. Kingdom. I watch this. Oh, oh, oh. more Patreon content. I see. Damn. Okay. Oh. Okay. Utrid, son of Utrid. That's my shit, bro. <laughs> No idea. All right, let's get in this goddamn <laughs> hey, right, Always right. count on Malik, bro. Always count on <laughs> Son of bullshit. These niggas be sitting around watching. What show is that? I don't even That's know. That's Kingdom. It's a great That's fucking This is about Vikings versus Saints. No. Man, you better get on that shit. This is about Vikings. Might as well should be. Last Kingdom was Last Kingdom is best is uh, better than games. Game of Thrones last four seasons, I would say. That's how good. Guaranteed the last like, season, for sure. Yeah. I'm sh I'm so sure that's true. All right. Damn, that's smooth.